What's going on guys? It's me back here again today and we are back with another episode of the Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Obviously, we have 91 Herman Moore right there. Let's go ahead and check him out. Always one of my favorite receivers ever since I got into Madden. He was somebody that I never even knew existed and then once I figured out how dominant he was, I've always wanted this card every year. 6'4", 90 speed, 93 jumping with our boost, 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, 92 spec, 87 short with 90 medium, 90 deep route running. So he's hitting the threshold on two out of the three route running categories so basically he should be unstoppable unless man meta decides to kick our ass but it really has been working too well against him so i'm pretty confident that he should be balling out this episode so as far as abilities we have double me as well as deep out of lead on herman moore that's it because we're splitting them with larry fitzgerald as well as andre reed and i do not want to lose my passing abilities because it might make herman moore play not as good as he should as far as everybody else we haven't really made any changes i think we had andre reed in the last episode so no need to go for him and then on defense i don't think we've had any changes at all one thing i did want to mention is i actually pulled a miles garrett out of our weekly elite pack that was 100k that i made but again no changes on defense but the new aka promo is out so if there are any players you want to see from that promo please let me know in the comments down below those aren't limited or legends so they're not as expensive so, so i would be more able to do them so let me know if you want to see any aka players so we're actually 2-0 and on weekend league or excuse me much champs again i said i'm gonna fuck that up every week but 2-0 and right now so we can't play too dumb but still i want to take shots if herman moore gets open i am going to take shots like that there we go oh big manning over Derek johnson let's go right at his user as far as the new aka program who are you guys favorite players who are you trying to pick up because honestly i really haven't gone over it so i wouldn't be able to tell you who i would necessarily want right away oh there we go okay dave casper open but man we are just pass leading them horribly third and two coming up but obviously we have herman moore in the slot it just seems like when you have a slot player they get more uh cut more opportunity to get open like that there we go herman moore oh my goodness down to the 21 let's go i just think i think the 90 speed makes such a difference for Herman Moore and it's funny because when I have a good receiving core like this it, it seems like we have a lot of options look at him look at him there he goes again Herman Moore one-on-one -on -one. you cannot stop him let's go oh no he's gonna return it <laughs> don't let him return it no oh damn it okay you know what at least we get to see Herman Moore back on the field shit but hey I'm not even mad if you get a kick return on me that's just me not playing good special teams and kudos to this person because they're honestly kicking the ball to me regular oh there we go there we go Ooh, caught them off guard with the run demarco murray says get off of me well third and ten just like that definitely stalling out on the drive man look at herman moore he's tired but we have larry fitzgerald on the outside so if he presses uh you know what let's just hit herman moore anyways let's see what he be almost making the play coming up a yard short herman moore might actually get open as long as they don't play super press coverage right here herman moore's wide open herman moore nope. oh what a good play damn okay i did not expect the corner to to literally jump right on that but that's what happened Ooh, caught me on a defensive end stuck ah that's okay all right time to see what he's working with just like that set down to a fourth and one let's just make something happen right here boys let's make something happen and we right. stopped them there we go what Bro, that forward progress is insane. There's no way. There's no way he got that. God, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. I shifted the defensive line. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna... <laughs> that's, got it. that's usually what happens, right? Shifted the D-line that whole way, and we got zero penetration. We shouldn't have even been on that drive, man. That was a lucky... That was lucky yardage. Lucky placement on the ball, dude. One thing that I am noticing is that his user isn't that great. Like, if there's two plays that go into the same zone, he's more than likely going to go with the first one. Okay, or just run the route over. Again, we're not getting any uh, any fair treatment with the ball, I feel like. Oh, there we go. Somebody's open. Andre Reed, make a play. Andre Reed, God, I need you to outrun those boys. So he's still trying to send that weak-ass blitz. I think I might burn him right here. As long as we get a couple seconds, we just need a half of a second. A half of a second. There we go, Dave Casper. Stay open. Ah mess up on me only good thing about this drive is that it's really not targeting herman moore as much so he's not he's not gonna be really paying attention to him as much there we go herman moore wide open herman moore foot race midfield down to the 45 40 let's go there is no quit in this team herman moore five receptions 93 yards and a touchdown it's only the first half but the way that this game is going it feels like this is already like a game deciding drive there we go oh, such a bad throw for a wide open receiver i don't even know why i floated it 
But that, oh my god, that wasn't even the person that I thought was in that zone. I literally thought that that was Herman Moore, ended up being Andre Reed, and that's gonna go ahead and kill us. Of course, of course that works. He's probably gonna run the ball right here. Probably gonna run the ball, and I'm in the backfield, you're not fooling me. Well, shout out to the defense, actually forcing a punt, and we could have potentially had a great return, but we just had no blocks on special teams. And what's funny is I have a ton of special teams players, or so I thought I did. Uh, you know what? Larry Deep, only because there was nobody else open. And he's still, oh, he dropped it at the last second. Herman Moore should get open. That should be our target right away. There we go. Herman Moore, good route, out of bounds. Let's go. And right now we're on a solid drive. Let's just not mess it up. Let's not make any dumb plays. There we go. Who's that underneath? Larry Fitzgerald. Good play. Let's go. No huddle. No huddle. We'll take three. I have no problem taking three. Man, it just does not seem like Andre Reed. Oh, there we go. Urban Moore. No, dude. Really? I just... I, I really honestly expected Herman Moore to make the catch over 86 Kyer Elam, but I'm wrong. And apparently that's just not how it works. And, oh, man, I felt like we made such a good throw, but apparently not. Everybody looks like they're running good zone. Oh, dude, that has to be grounding. Insanity right there. How that wasn't grounding is beyond me. How that, how he even got away with that, I'll never even know. I'll never even know. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. There we go, Stephon Gilmore. Dude, give me a break, please. I know I always say to swat it, but when I'm, when I have more play on the ball than he does, I expect to go up and get it. I was literally closer to the ball than he was, and somehow he still comes up with that. Somehow he still comes up with that, and we got that one, though. There we go, Legereus Sneed. Well, third and ten, just like that, either we're missing wide open receivers, or they're not hanging on to the ball, but right now cannot get anything going. Larry Fitzgerald finally making a play and running over the safety, breaking another tackle. Let's go. It's gonna take every single player on the offensive side of the ball to win this game and it looks like they want to win it oh there we go herman moore with a good block demarco with a good spin herman moore with another good block demarco yeah. breaking tackles down to the seven let's go cannot throw an interception anything else is fine we're actually going to send keith jackson straight up because he's not playing him from what i've been seeing he's not playing him he's not playing him keith jackson wide open and we're about to tie it up once again the defense has been doing absolutely solid but again, I got to make plays right here because I know he's going to try to go outside every single time. There we go. Everybody stay at home. Stay in your zone. Let's go. He does have mobility. He can throw on the run. So that's one thing we absolutely have to watch out for as Larry Fitz is wide open. Damn it. One thing that I can tell you is that he's not good under pressure. So as long as we can get some pressure in his face, we should be able to take him down. Oh, there we go. Get off of your blocks, guys. How can y'all stay stuck on a block when they're literally behind you? I'm literally gonna lose my mind with how quickly this guy is getting to throw the ball away. Like, you should not have that much time, ever. 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 Oh my gosh, come on, Sneed. Jerry's had his chance to make another big play right there, but letting Dave- You know what, I'm not gonna say letting Dave Casper, because Dave Casper is a 91, but still, tough play. But just as long as I get time, we should still get somebody underneath. There we go, Andre Reed. There we go, Andre Reed with a huge play and a huge gain down to the 44. The only thing that irks me is the fact that he's winning right now off of a fucking kick return. Like, Bruh. of course, of course. Oh, he's pulling the safety off. Larry Fitzgerald should get instantly wide open. Larry Fitzgerald, Larry Fitzgerald, go get it! What? Look, look at that. Everyone's locked up. Come on, come on, and that's a late hit, that's a late hit, let's go! How? How could you make that mistake? Literally had me dead to rights, it was gonna be a fourth down play. Still a clutch throw though by Joe Montana, but it was literally gonna be a fourth down play and you do the biggest mistake and get a 15 yard flag. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick after this game, for sure gonna be sick. I, I, I have to score, we have to score offense, everybody block, dude, oh, 68! I need him to. If he doesn't, then we do not get the man coverage look that we need. But please come out in it. The one time I'm begging you to come out in it. The one time that I'm begging you to come out in it. You do touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald. Defense, we have a chance to win the game right here. Please, everyone, play smart. I'm stuck on a defensive lineman, but I got my adjustments out. I got my adjustments out. You made the mistake that I needed you to make, you idiot. Let's go. Turnover at the 22-yard line. Let's go. All I need is for somebody to take the coverage away from Herman Moore, and I'm throwing this. And I'm throwing, you know what? Larry Fitzgerald, go up and get it. Man, that's a touchdown. Let's go. Taking the lead. 
Brand Delpit, every video you just seem to make a play all on your own because you want to just remind everyone of how great of a player you are. Let's go, man. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. Yeah, like going inbounds. Somebody make a dive tackle. There we go. Apparently, this guy has no hurry in him. That's completely fine with me. Again, he's he's coming out in bunch, so I, I really am not too worried about it. As long as I place somebody underneath, that's a huge mistake. Oh, we dropped it. Time to come out in something that I never come out in, but I feel like every time that I do decide to do it, it actually works. Just don't get caught on a defensive lineman. Uh, you know what? There we go. Mike Vrabel, drop out. Mike Vrabel with the interception. Mike Vrabel, I told you. I called it before I even got it in my hands. I cannot believe you threw that. Larry Fitz, oh my god, I don't know why, but I have an ab I don't know what ability it is, but for some reason, all of my players are starting to get lit up. They are all starting to get lit up. More. He's on fire, dude, he's on fire. Okay, now, the big issue that I have with that is that we were on fire. They're not supposed to be able to catch it in single coverage. I literally had double me activated for that reason. That's, that's literally going to be the most insane shit that's going to happen to me. Of course, right? I had double me active. That's, that's insane to me, man. The fact that we're going to potentially let him back into the game because double me didn't work is going to, is really going to make me sick. Man, 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 man. I, I am in disbelief. Like, if you really, if you really think about it, that should not have, we should have at least dropped it. Because back in the day when they somehow miraculously made a play on the ball, the people drop it. So I don't know what happened or where we went wrong, but I don't know. That's that's what I'm just fucking annoyed about. Wow. Kevin Byard, come on. This is really going to happen, man. This is really, really going to happen. Oh my god, I'm going to be sick if this happens. I'm going to be absolutely sick to my stomach if something like this actually happens to me. Something like this actually happens. No, no, sir, it doesn't. You made a mistake, and I will not make one. Let's go. Man, I cannot believe this guy is going to quit. I wanted to see Herman Moore's receiving stats, but at least we came out with the win in what was an absolute hell game that we should not have even been in. Well, we escaped an absolute hell game. To my defense, I am so sorry that you guys got like four straight interceptions and all I did was give them right back. Again, we should have not at all got intercepted on that last throw by Herman Moore. There was no reason we should have. He was literally on fire. For the most part, I loved the way Herman Moore played. He got, what, six, seven receptions, like 110 yards and a touchdown. The only unfortunate thing was we could not get him open in the second half, but Larry Fitzgerald absolutely saved our asses multiple times and thank god he got that huge touchdown or we would have probably lost but again the only reason he was even in that game was because of a kick return and i still at this moment cannot understand how herman moore was not able to get that touchdown but that's besides the point we got the win we stayed in there and we hung out and got the dub and forced his ass out of there bottom line thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate all the support it has been amazing these past couple videos with all the views and everything so thank you so much mme army going strong but again thank you guys so so much for watching if you haven't dropped a like make sure to drop one below if you're new hit that sub button my name is mme and i'll see you guys in the next one